WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update and currently have all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the downside as well. All the sectors with inside the S&P 500 it goes like this. The Dow's off 470 points. That's about one to four tenths percent. One to four tenths for the S&P or 57 points. One and six tenths for the Nasdaq. That's 196 points. The Russell's off two percent. 40 points to the downside. One and a half percent for the semis. 47 points there. You've got gold trading down two bucks 1847 is the print silver's up 23 cents 2195 there lights we crude back 19 pennies natural gas off 15 cents 30 year treasuries down one point and eight ticks 124.17 is where it's printing right now if we go take a look at our nine panel market update chart we begin with the es mini in the es mini we can see that price is trading below the bottom of its bullish structure daily profile it's also trading below friday's bullish hammer candle that says if you're long you're wrong or that's really its expression during the trader's edge show we'll give you the price targets as to where the es mini is likely headed to that spot volatilics now well above its 50-day exponential moving average that's at uh, the exponential moving at 50 days at 2068 price right now at 2281 that is a uh, that is a positive for the sellers out there. If you take a look at the NQ, she's trading back inside her profile, likely targeting the 11.975 to 12.083 level. That's its bullish structured support area for its daily time frame. US dollar index, if it ever does close above 103.85 on a daily time frame, it'll trigger an A to B equal CD to the upside, but it hasn't been able to do that thus far. What price is doing, it did form a new daily profile. There's bearish in structure. That says if the US dollar index is able to close below 105.68, it should be be able to make the run down to the 100.68 area out there or at least 102.83 if we take a look at goldilocks gold still has a uh, td9 breakout support area that has held but it too is also forming a new profile so excuse me support at 1771 resistance at 1808 silver also forming a new profile support there is at the uh, 2147 level resistance at 2217 we take a look at light speed crew just consolidating with inside that daily profile that's between the range of 70 364 and 80.68. If you take a look at natural gas on Friday, it negated its by the D point pattern. It needs a bullish reversal candle to confirm another one, as well as a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. And we have a TD nine count bottom in the 30 year treasury, but that would be negated with a close below 124.14. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show, but if you have to start your Tuesday, please have a terrific one. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you again soon.